you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden old new video, guys. And today, we got some new content. We do have, apparently, a new tribute Andrew Luck card coming out. I did tell you guys we'd be getting that, although I was hoping we'd get it as a free Nat House Rules reward, but... It's not looking likely for that, but at least we did get a new one. He has pretty insane stats. He is probably the best quarterback in the game as of this news. He also is really fast, and I think he can get a skateboarder, so he should be the best quarterback by a, a landslide for the most part. Now, we should be getting new house rules today because it is Tuesday, so I'm going to back out. It is Tuesday, which means house rules as per usual, but I have not seen a release on EA yet about that. So I hope we have them because house rules is kind of the most fun, like, interesting, innovative mode we have every week that, like, really keeps people with like, helps no money spend teams helps everyone so i'm really hoping we do get those house rules are here we do got house rules perfect okay play stock know what that means so the new andrew luck i'll show you i'll go show you guys the stats in the video after the house rule stuff and hopefully he'll be up by then and also if not i'll go into twitter and show you guys those but if you guys are new to the channel make sure to go down below smack the sub button we just hit 7k thank you guys so much for all the support that's crazy we're at about 7050 right now so next round 8k and then hopefully by september we'll be in 10k if you guys haven't already hit the sub button go down below turn on the noti bell to get notified every time i post a brand new video and also let's get the video to 300 likes you guys have been killing the like buttons so get to 300 likes and comment down below what you think of the andrew luck and what you think of the house rules so now let's get into this so headset season let's go check out the new house rules i cannot wait to see these rewards uh seasons play stock okay so play stock usually means you can't do any audibles 87 plus team diamond okay so you got that's perfect i like that is it fantasy it's random Ooh. Don't give me some bum. Okay, so it's pretty much you have to play with the typical plays that you can. You can't do hot routes, no audibles, no pre-play movement. So you can't audible drags or posts or streaks. Like whatever play you pick is the play you have to run, which I like because I run a lot of play stock. I really don't mind that aspect. The only issue is that you can't protect. So guys, blitzing is going to be crazy if you really think about it. So let's see. I'm pretty sure that means you can't protect. If you can, that's cool, but I don't know. Switch it up to a switch it up with house rules. Get as many wins as possible on a random 87 plus theme diamond. So I'll be going over in a second what theme diamonds you could get. And then I'll go into this. So oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. So pretty much my recommendation for how to play this so far. Recommendations right now would be if you if you can't max protect or protect players blitzing blitzing is going to be insane on this because if you can't protect if you have like von miller lawrence taylor donald like i do demarcus lawrence there's gonna be no chance like you're gonna have to get the ball quickly it's probably gonna be a run heavy week i definitely run a lot because if people are gonna be blitzing you're not gonna have a lot of passing options and if you have plays where like the only way you get shorter options are from audibling or hot routing don't don't rely on those plays anymore because you can't hot route so i'd recommend if you want if you're gonna need flat plays make sure you pick plays with built-in flat routes because otherwise you're going to be screwed because based on how this is going to work you cannot protect so those plays that you like to protect your running back on and put your tight end on a drag you can't do any of that like four verts is four verts you know pitch right is pitch right there's no audible and there's no motioning so make sure you come out when you like if you don't like it call timeout it's way more worth it than getting sacked but this is really cool it's kind of like playing madden at its at its purest form like just picking a play and playing. So I really like that actually. For me, I don't audible or hot route much anyways. So I feel like this makes the more competitive players less competitive and it makes the worst players a little bit better. So honestly, this kind of helps no money spent teams and people that aren't too good at the game, let's say, because a lot of people aren't good at the game, don't know how to hot route or audible, do all that, all that cool, you know, like innovative stuff. They just kind of know how to play the game, just pick a play and go out there and rock with it. So this helps, this kind of, the skill gap, let's say it's here and the other one's here, like this is the bad people, those are good people. It kind of brings you guys slightly closer. So. Should be an easier week, but a more frustrating week for competitive players, like really good players, even myself, who I feel like I play kind of stocks, so that won't affect me. But people who rely on hot routes, audibles, pre-play movement, like you can't do any of that. So should definitely stunt a lot of those people. Now, would I recommend playing this, guys? Yes, right now, go start this. It should require 10 wins as per usual, 10 total wins, which is not bad at all, just 10 wins. Doesn't matter how many, you could lose 100 times as long as you get 10 wins. You also typically get trophies and you get coins, so that's really cool too. Let's go check over, let's go check the objectives so we can have a good idea of what we're working with. Then I'll show you guys the theme diamonds that you guys can potentially get, which I think is awesome. House rules, play stock. So if you get one win, you get 500 coins, 10 wins, 20 trophies, that's 500 coins. Oh, we need 30 wins, win 30 times. So this is definitely gonna be a lot longer. Wow, okay. I wonder if they're full games. If they're full games, 30 wins is a lot, but I'm fine with doing 30 day, two days for 30 wins. I'm really gonna have to grind this out, but it's definitely worth it for a Nat 87 plus theme diamond. I wonder which ones we can get. I mean, that's pretty much all of them besides the low ones, and there's not many low ones. So you grand total, you'll get 40 trophies, 6,000 coins, plus playing the game coins, and then you also get 
87 plus team diamond. If you go for extra, let's see. 60 wins, 100 trophies. Yeah, I don't think I can play. I mean, 50,000 coins, though. I don't know. We'll have to see how quickly these games go. If you can make people quit easily, this probably shouldn't take too long. But I'd imagine 30 wins could take you the both two days. If it's if it's a full game, it's going to be two days. It definitely is. Let's see. Choose your play wisely there. No audibles or hot routes. Don't think about moving a defender priest now. Oh, you, on defense, you can't move either. That's so frustrating because on defense, I do audible a lot. So on defense, you can't. Like, if you're a linebacker, if you want to use your linebacker, you can't move him. Which sucks because, like, if you know a guy's coming out on this one play where he's going to go, like, on an out route with one receiver and you know how to cover it, but you got to, like, inch yourself there, you can't. So, like, you, like, your whole team starts as statues. You pretty much start to play as a statue. You can't move. So you have to know what you're doing. Like, you really have to understand what's going to go on. Be the first to 200 yards to start racking up wins. Oh, first team to 200 yards wins. That's really cool. Okay. Choose your play wisely. No audibles. Don't think about moving your defender either. The, be the first to 200 yards to start racking up wins. Wow. Okay. So you have to play some quick offense. So pretty much here, you really want defensive stops because if you, you have to clear the field two times. So pretty much it could, well, pretty much three times because you have to get, you have to, you can't get pretty much. You have to start from zero yards twice to get 200 yards, which is impossible. So pretty much you play three total drives. And I mean, unless it's a defensive game, but that's pretty cool. It can go the whole game if you can't get it. So if you can blitz hard, you can really stop defenses. I mean, you can really kill them on the defensive side. This could be a very easy week for you. Now let's go see what theme diamonds you could potentially get. Go over to sets. Let's show overalls and sets so we can do this pretty easily. So theme diamonds. So we can, okay, cool. So we can get Charles Tillman, Corey Dillon. Let's see. Jason Elam, which I wouldn't really mind. Otto Graham, which would make me kind of upset, to be honest with you. Yeah, I would not want to lock the 89 overall quarterback. We can get Joe Jerufivicius, however you say his name. Darnold Dockett, I would love. Sean Phillips, I wouldn't be happy about. Brian Waiters, I'd be very happy about. The White Freeney, which eh, I would be upset about. Mel, Mel Renfro, I would really love. Uh, let's see. Joe Runyon, I would love. J, uh, Jesse Tuggle, I wouldn't really mind. I would just have to sell Bobby Wagner, which is whatever. Merton Hanks, I wouldn't mind. I like to put him there right now for safety, although wouldn't be my favorite. John Henderson, I would love to. Great, the great defensive tackle. Wayne Trebet would not love him, but I guess I'd have to sell someone. Corey Schlesinger, I would be so happy with. I've been wanting an insane fullback to have a big beast with a high impact blocking and a stiff arm. Definitely would love that card. Donald Driver would not be too happy about, but I guess I would just have to sell my uh, my watch receiver. And whoever I get, guys, my personal recommendation, whoever you get, no matter who it is, you're stuck with him. So I highly recommend you go get his power-up card and you go and power up. Power-ups on these, on these cards are going to go up, so you might want to get them now as quickly as you can. But guys, I highly recommend you power them up because if you power them up all the way, you can get them all to 90s. So they're going to all be beast no matter what. I would love the Panthers, Jordan Gross. I would also love Rob Ninkovich would be awesome. Rob Ninkovich would be awesome for a lot of teams. Not for me, but for many people, he's a really good left end. Let's see what else we got. Adam Timmerman, another guy. I'd have to just sell Larry Allen. I would love Chris McAllister. Awesome guy. Clinton Portis is really good as a backup running back for me. Deuce McAllister, another backup running back. Lofa Tatupu, however you say his name. Remember, all these guys can become 90 overalls. So it doesn't exactly matter who you pull. Pretty much you get a 90 free player as long as you power him up, which shouldn't cost you too much. So in theory, this is not bad at all. That's all you got to do pretty much. You just have to go through and make sure you power them up. Now we can get David Carr, which would really upset me. David Carr and Autogram, probably the worst two to get. Keith Bullock, I would not be too happy about, but I would love Matt Burke. So these rewards as a whole are really, really awesome, guys. This is a great, great house rules. I really like this one because I wasn't going to pick up these theme diamond otherwise. So I think this really gives me an excuse to get one of them and then power them up because they all power up to 90. So make sure whoever you get, you power them up to a 90 because they will be a lot better with their 90. So no matter what you get, the stats will be good. Now let's go check out, let's see, Madden, let's see, where are the limited times? Let's just type in luck. Let's see if the luck's out yet. That'd be awesome. Luck, luck. Andrew Luck, Andrew Luck, Andrew Luck, Andrew Luck. I do not see his limited timeout yet. I know he is coming. Apparently, I hope I wasn't clickbaited on Twitter, but I do. He's supposed he's supposed to be coming. Okay, guys. So as a whole, this is the Andrew Luck card. He was not on the auction block, although I've been looking for him. So I'm gonna be doing this through Twitter. As long as this card is real, this is an awesome card. He should be the best quarterback in the game by far because I think he does get escape artist. So he will be the fastest most accurate quarterback combination in the game, which eclipses Steve Young by a fair amount. He does have six foot, he's six foot four, 82 speed, 88 throw power, 94 throw accuracy short, 90 throw accuracy mid, 90 throw accuracy deep, 89 throw under pressure, 90 throw on the run, 90 play action. With the right abilities on him, this card could have over a 90 throw power, a 90 throw on the pressure. He'll have all 90s, 90s across the board. It hits every threshold, so he'll be the most accurate quarterback in the game tied with Kurt Warner. Plus, he gets the 82 speed with the skate barter, so he'll be like a juiced up fast Kurt Warner. The only issue is that this card is limited time, so that does kind of hurt 
it kind of hurts him a little bit because it'd be too expensive for the average team to afford which kind of sucks for us but you know what his car as a whole is really awesome also guys real quick I hope you guys get what you guys need out of that theme diamond pack. I'm I'm gonna probably get the sum for you guys by later tonight or tomorrow morning so I can have the rewards by tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I don't get an outside linebacker, quarterback, anything else I would love. Remember you can power them up to a 90, so no matter what you get, you're getting a pretty much a free 90 overall, which is pretty awesome. And I highly recommend you power them up because you are gonna be stuck with them. Do not quick sell them. Also, if you guys did enjoy the video and you guys have been loving the content on the channel, make sure to drop a sub. We are so close. We just hit 7K. We're so close to 10K. Let's keep grinding it out to 8 and so on and so forth, boys. So smack the sub button. Turn the noti bell. It's going to notify every time I post a brand new video. Also, comment down below what you think of this Andrew Luck and what you think of the house rules. I think they're awesome. Cannot wait to get them done. And, guys, that's, that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.